All right, so this week on the how these MLB teams got their name, National League West. First one up, Arizona Diamondbacks. It's going to be tough. I don't know if you can get it. Uh, I'm going to say snakes. <laughs> in, on a plane? In Arizona, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a cabin in the woods. Goddamn snakes on this goddamn plane. So Arizona Diamondbacks, when the Arizona Brass found out it would be awarded a team, it turned to the fans to help determine what the team's name should be. The team options included the Coyotes, Rattlers, Phoenix, Scorpions, and Diamondbacks. Obviously, Diamondbacks ended up being the favorite, but that doesn't mean that the losers weren't worthy. It would be cool to see an Arizona Scorpions game at Chase Field. At least they didn't name their team Arizona Phoenix. Although I guess then they would have had like the bird. Yeah. Like Phoenix is in Arizona. It just would have been weird. Yeah. Coyotes would have been good, I think, too. Yeah. Also kind of sounds like create a team. But like cacti. <laughs> the succulents. The su- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that would have been good. I have another really tough one for you. Um, the Colorado Rockies. If I had to guess, I'd say it was named after the Rocky Mountains, which run through Colorado. Fantastic. Here's a case where ownership didn't seem to care much about what the fans wanted. A newspaper poll showed that fans preferred to have its Colorado team called the Bears. But instead, ownership decided that since the team was located so close to the Rocky Mountains, that the Rockies was a more fitting nickname, although ownership should have should have taken the fans opinion into account. The Colorado Bears don't sound like an exciting team. What about like the Colorado Mountain Lions or something like that? Mm, that would have been good. Um, whatever. I don't know what other or just animals the lions. live in the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, next one, I have the Dodges. <clears throat> uh, the, Sho- the Shohei Otanis. The Dodges. I'm going to say, being that they originated in Brooklyn... They dodged a lot of bullets. <laughs> Touche. If it was a Baltimore team, maybe. Yeah, well, well, Brooklyn, I guess. Yeah, you're right. They were a Baltimore Bullets team. Yeah. Well, you're right with dodging, but not the right object. Well, if you could dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. So, <laughs> so many people know that the L.A. Dodgers originated from Brooklyn, moving from New York to the West Coast in 1958. In Brooklyn, people were often called trolley dodgers, and in the late 1800s, the team was called the trolley dodgers. They didn't last very long, though, as Brooklyn changed its name to just the Dodgers shortly thereafter. It would be fun to watch Matt Kemp and Clayton Kershaw suit up in trolley dodger uniforms, but that doesn't seem likely anytime soon. So what's the Dodgers mascot? Um, I think it's that guy. He has like a baseball head. Yeah, and that's it, right? How, how did they not incorporate anything relevant to that into their like what 120 30 year history and you're just going to be like "Mm." all but three major league teams have official mascots and that's the dodgers yankees and angels Hmm. how the angels not have one come on okay um (laughs) next one is the san diego padres padres Uh, padre uh I'm going to say whoever founded the team was Hispanic and his dad just passed away and he named it in memory of him. Memory of him. That's pretty good. Um, So for the Padres, would it be weird if San Diego's team was called the Fathers instead of the Padres? Well, that's what the nickname means in English. So why is it in Spanish? Well, it's because San Diego had the first Spanish mission in the state of California and there was a minor league team known as the Padres. So when ownership was awarded a team, they liked the name and went with it. And yes, it would be weird if the team were now known as the San Diego Fathers. Agreed. But it's still, That'd be a very weird name. But it is. It is. Just in a just in a different language. Right. So that means that the team so if the team was called the Fathers, it would be weird. But the fact that it's named the Padres is extraña. Which is weird in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> That's all I got. I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> it's still weird. It's, it's, it's still weird. weird. Yeah. All right. Last one you got out of NL West is the San Francisco Giants. Uh, I think we talked about this with the football Giants. Uh, I think it said they were named after 
the Giants of San Francisco that used to be in New York who were named after all of the giant buildings in New York. Nice. Okay, so got here. Um, San Francisco Club, which originated in New York. It was the manager known as the New York New Yorks and also the New York Gothams. The manager, Jim Mutri, started calling the players my big fellows, my giants. The name started to catch on and eventually stayed with the team through its move to the West Coast. Why not the New York Fellows, though? I'm still hung up on... The Gothams? No, the the coach calling them my big fellows. My big fellows, my giants. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, good for them. Uh, I think Barry Bonds lived up to that name. 